active record. That's what you will learn in this video. Hey, my name is Jesus Castillo and I'm going to show you how to use active record. But what is active record? Active record is the part of Ruby on Rails that is used to interact, to work with the database. Okay. So right here I have a example application. And if I open the Rails console, so you can type Rails console, uh, this allows you to interact, to work with your Rails project. You can enter Ruby code here. So with that, I have a cat model. So models are the classes that connect with active record and therefore they connect with the database. So how do we use this? Well, we have the cat model and we can create cats and we can also list and find cats or whatever other thing. Of course, it doesn't have to be a cat. It can be a book. It can be any, a user, anything you want. In this case, we have cats. So we can see what attributes there's a cat have by the cat or new. And we can see that cat, just like any other um, database object has an ID and this a unique ID used to identify this database entry. And then we have the actual attributes that I created for this model. And that's name, color, age, and country. You can create any attributes you want. And this defines the kind of data that you want to save in your database. Okay, so there are a few things you can do, like listing all of your database entries. And if you have a lot, I don't recommend this because it's going to be very slow. But if you're just testing and you're creating a new application, then you won't have a lot and that's fine. So with all, we can see that we have no database entry for the CAD model, right? We have this empty array. Uh, this is not actually an array, it is an active record relation, as you can see right here, but it behaves like an array and that's why we see this. So this means we have no cats. So if we create one, we can, we will have one, right? So let's create one. How do we create one? Well, we can say there are many ways to create one, but this one way is to say cat create. And then we are going to pass a hash. So a hash looks like that, right? It's a key and a value. Uh, it is going to define the different attributes. Okay, so let's say we have the name. I'm just going to say it's test, then a color. Uh, let's do yellow because why not? <laughs> then H1 and country Spain, which is by the way where I am from. Okay, so when I press enter, this will create the cat. Uh, and you can confirm that by looking at this. This is green, confirming it's a good thing, right? It's working. And uh, what this is, is database commands. This is what Active Record is doing for you, right? It's working with the database. It says insert into. So this is how the database um, is adding data into the database, creating a new entry, right? Confirm this even more by looking at our list of cards. And now you see we have one in there when before it was empty, right? We can also access it with cat.first, right? And we can access the individual um, attributes of this particular cat with, um, their names. So if I say name, we get the name. If I say color, we get the color. If I say age, we get the age. 
right? So that's how it works. Very simple operations. You have um, all to get a list of all of them. You want to filter, you can say where or find by. Have another video when I where I go into detail how to filter records using, using the where and find by, find by method. Then you can create like this uh, a hash of attributes. And then again, you can list. You can get the first one. You can get the last one. In this case, the last one is the same as the first one because we only have one. You can also count them, right? So that's kind of the basic operations you can do. You can also delete it. So to delete a record, you first have to find it. So this finds it. And then you can say delete. As you can see there, now we delete the record from the database. And again, it's empty because we only had one. In this case, one cat. But remember, this can be anything you want. Uh, for this to work, you first have to create a model, right? And also we need a database migration, which I also cover in another video. So the database migration, we prepare the database to be able to save the information into the database. So that's an introduction to Active Record. Remember, it's a the part of Rails, the component of Rails, because Rails is made from different components. Active Record is the component that works, allows you to work with the database and do basic operations like finding all of the records, creating new records, del deleting records, updating records, and things like that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click the like button for me so note that you like it and some more people can find it. Thanks a lot for watching. If you want to learn more, watch more videos on this channel and visit my website rubyguides.com. rubyguides.com. See you in the next video.